perhaps, but whatever was there was not anywhere near the size of what was there last August and what was recently taken away. Um, but even if it was there, I can't, I, I, in my interpretation of this statute, would not equate bedroom to deck. I mean, take my, from my viewpoint, I'm looking out. The deck is almost invisible. It's, it's the color of, you know, it's just brownish gray. It, it disappears in your eye. The building is white. It's, it, even if they replace deck, which is legal, with building, that's an expansion of the nonconforming use. If, if, I mean, from my standpoint, <clears throat> it would be proposing a 40% left to right increase, right to left increase, of the, uh, of the nonconforming use. The apartments are bigger than they were. Both of them are bigger. Now, I, I'm in a tough situation here because I, I respect entirely the idea of, of, of the expansion of the city taking place in the dense area within the bypass. And, you know, and if we want to legally increase the number of dwellings that can be put in a, in a house, that may be a good idea. But this is not legal. This is only legal because if, it, if in 1985, when this zoning ordinance was enacted, that five units, or more than five, so I've heard it said it was once six, if those were legal in 1985, then they're legal today. But I ask you, what evidence do you have that they were legal in 1985? How do we know they were not just put up at some point in the past when nobody was paying a lot of attention to the zoning? And if they were, then they're illegal. Then he cannot rebuild. And what he's doing, you know, what, what he's doing, uh, uh, I don't know what happened inside. Maybe you only have to, you have to go back to two dwellings. But you, I would think you'd, some effort would be made to establish that. It wouldn't just simply be accepted that it's legal. Um, so, uh, so let's see. Um, I, think, I, I think probably the, the most important thing to point out to you from my perspective is, and I started on that, on that trail, is how big an expansion this really is. Um, so where your view is, Do you need another clip for that top corner? Yeah, I guess you do. It's hard to see, but uh, approximately, I'm, I'm just guessing, but this is approximately where the original building was. Mm -hmm. And it came up like that. And it's, it's not doubling. I, I, I don't know if the, what the, what's the depth, Alan, of the, of the new one from front to back? Or... Uh, eight feet. It's coming eight feet over the distance. Six, Sixteen plus eight. Now. Okay. Yeah. Total. Total. Total width. Hey, could you come? Could I just, I just, could I just ask you, how much is this dimension right here? Twenty-four feet. And originally it was sixteen. Yes. Okay. So it's a fifty percent increase in the area of internal space of a building that presents itself. Uh, you say and what? It's a 50% increase. You go from 16 to, to 24, you said? Yeah, 50% of 16 is 8, added to 16, 24. So it's a 50% increase. I, I, I see that as expansion. If that's not expansion, if that can be allowed simply because a deck was on the back of this. Even if the deck was legal, that can't be what was intended because it's a tremendous change. And the same goes with what happens to the view because of this extra bedroom that is now in this unit. Take close, pay close attention to, to this uh, drawing here. On one of the apartments has this roof line. That's the one, this, this one here. The other apartment has this roof line. When was the last time you saw a building with two gable roofs of different angle like that? I'll have to look at that. Uh, and. It shouldn't have been that way. It's, 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 it's projecting up. It's, uh, it's projecting out into, into the property line, where it, property where it wasn't before. And then there's the bedroom, which is in this general area here. That uh, didn't exist. And I think that's forbidden by the, the language, you can't expand into the structure. So 
you know, when I first looked at this uh, ordinance, I, I was worried about those, the fact that it talked about a 25% increase or a 30% increase being granted, but, and I figured that didn't seem right for non-conforming use. But after I looked at it a little further, I realized it's written the right way. It doesn't permit any expansion for non-conforming use, which is what it ought to be. For all, there are five units in this building. And I can just, t just to tell you what that's like. It means that there could be easily, um, well, I, I think some of those, are, those apartments we're talking about were a little small, so they typically didn't have two adults. But, but often, you know, there are two adults living in these apartments, so there are two cars. So there are 10 cars. I don't know, I don't, they can't fit 10 cars in the parking lot behind it. Between, the parking lot is between them. What? The, but well, I'm, let's, and okay. excuse me, let's let him cars. testify. Yeah, I know. But I, I, there are a lot of cars. And there's also a large dumpster. And, you know, and, and, the, the, and, and that's needed because it's, there are five units in the building. Um, but you, not all of you have, have, a, a, have a garbage truck backing up with a beep, beep, beep at 7 a.m. to get the dumpster. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with it, but I'm fine with it because that's the law. But I'm not fine with this expansion. And it, this is an expansion <laughs> and a big one. And why is it being done? You know, it's a free country, but it's being done to raise Mr. Uh, Wood's profit. That is why it's being done. He will get more rent with these apartments than he got with the existing non-conforming use, and I don't think that's fair. Okay, thank you. There are other members of the uh, public who'd like to address this application. Please introduce yourself and speak to the application. Hi, my name is Lawrence Marshall. I live at uh, 63 Church Street, and uh, my view of the apartments is uh, across the street from Park, so I would see where that proposed uh, front porch mm -hmm. would be. Um, first, I'd like to thank Roger for making a very cogent uh, presentation, I thought. Um, and I would like to clarify one thing. Those units were routinely over-occupied, particularly in the summertime. To say, to say that there were only two adults would be inaccurate. There were often more. So, um, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just reporting what I see. I see it. Could from, we speak to the board? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's from where I, you know, I, what I see. And it does, you know, I own an inn there, and it impacts my business. So the, you know, possibility of increase of that activity uh, would not be a good thing from our point of view. And I would say the same thing about the proposed porch on Park Street because that would become a gathering pit place and usually not very polite, nice language. And it impacts my business. And there were a number of times where I'd call the police and potential increase in that kind of activity, obviously not helpful to us. So uh, just like to go on the record as saying we're also opposed to any proposed expansion. And you know, and with all due respect to Mr. Woods, I think he could make more Rent on there just needs to have a design that would, you know, be fit a higher rent. It could happen. Thanks. Thank you. Any other members? Would you like to yes. address the board? Yeah. Um, Introduce yourself again, please. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Uh, my name is Alan Wood from Belfast. Um, I'm going to be getting less rent. Uh, uh, before I had three bedrooms, three bedrooms with uh, main state housing was uh, $1,075 and uh, you have, uh, by limiting it to two two bedrooms, uh, we would have uh, probably fewer kids, more adults, uh, and, and, and my income will go down, okay, because I cannot charge more than $1,050 and I, and I wouldn't, and, uh, uh, just, just, just would not happen. Okay, uh, uh, I take really uh, badly exception that uh, somehow the front end is going to be a gathering place of all these uh, riffraff or whatever. Uh, that really is uh, badly insulting. As, as there's ten cars in the back, and uh, you know when there's never been more than, than 
uh, maybe five maximum, but basically uh, what I'm trying to do is to improve the place. I, I, I feel they're probably going to have to come back again in two weeks, and that's fine. I think that uh, probably uh, Roger is going to appeal this to the Supreme Court, so it'll probably look like this for the next uh, six years with a big hole in the front of it, and uh, uh, you know, and, and that's and, and, and that's fine with me if that's uh, what it is. But uh, I I I don't like snobby attitudes. And uh, this Stuart, is, let's address okay, the application. And, uh, th that's right. And 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 so uh, uh, what I'm trying to do is to improve the structure, the the, the building that we're talking about adding on to has been uh, a terrible situation for me because the snow pounds right on that roof. Okay, so with extending the roof line, the snow is going to come off the roof. Okay, the same thing as the, uh, the, the front entrance. It, it makes more sense to have two doors, have some nice windows, attract some nice clientele. What these restrictions are going to do is going to be, uh, again, uh, it, it isn't going to be pretty. Uh, if I have to build along the lines of what these